Ah, you just unlocked your F-104 and you probably just got two missiles, two AIM-9Bs, your first missiles, oh my god, actually your first missiles. How many people will you just kill with them? Man, you see these videos of people killing so many people with missiles online and you think to yourself, I will be that person. So, you get into battle, you see Alpha Jet, oh, he flares, and the missile is just gone, he totally misses. Then he gets on fire, and, yep, he's done for, basically, you just get him. And, that would be great, if that happened every time. Now, this is what usually happens, you just lock on someone, two kilometers away, alright, conditions, nothing, it misses. Well, hello there, beautiful people. Today, I'll be talking about one of the most hated missiles in War Thunder, and why I actually quite like it. And it's not because of its performance, don't, don't get me wrong, right there. Its performance is very, very bad, like 10 Gs it can pull, and like its fuel lasts only for like... I'm not sure, like, uh, two seconds, maybe? But what I love about this missile is its history. Its history is really special. So, let's get right into that. So, basically, what happened uh, around World War II, one scientist named William Burdette McLean, if I am, if I am right. So, he invented the sign winder, and basically, around the time of World War II, uh, he just like decided to make AIM-9B, I mean, Navy needed missiles, and that's what they asked for. So, Navy asked for missiles. Uh, three manufacturers came together, so Sidewinder, uh, then came Sparrow and Falcon. So, they came together, and basically, uh, Navy just said, uh, you Sparrow, get money, you Falcon, get money, and you Sidewinder, get out of here. So basically Sidewinder gets uh, no money, no money fun funding, and Sparrow and Falcon just take it all. So what does our hero here, William Budetta, do? Well, he basically just takes money out of his own pocket. So basically, he just makes a missile out of his own money, out of his own funding. Like, it was not from military. He uh, literally got his own funding with his money. So, like, he makes a missile. His first missile was AIM-9A. And basically what happens is after the war, I'm pretty sure, the US Navy asked for Sparrow, Falcon and Sidewinder to come again and uh, for them to check out uh, what they meet, actually. like So, like, uh, Falcon and Sparrows pull up and, like, they have all this equipment on them, like, so much gear to check if the missiles actually work so they come there and like they are checking with all that gear and then Sidewinder our hero here Willem Budette comes in with Sidewinder aim 9A yeah so he came in and like he got two things to check if his Sidewinder actually works so can you guess what it is just try to guess. Well, you guessed it. It was flashlight and a stick. A wooden stick. And you already know that missile is good when you only need those two things. You need only a stick and a flashlight to check if your missile works. That, that's like crazy. So Navy got these drones and basically... Uh, the thing to be tested is like if those missiles can actually kill these drones if they can actually destroy the drones that they set up and like Sparrow and Falcon 
try out like I mean they I'm not really sure what uh, the plane was used to carry these missiles but like so Sparrow and Falcon are fired and basically what happens they miss they completely miss like uh, they are not even close to hitting these drones but then our aim 9a sidewinder comes in and like it obliterates them like actually just like every single one was hit under all the testing they done that day so basically from that day on sidewinder actually got some funding and from there you got other missiles developed like aim 9 for example e aim 9 uh, C, I think as well. So like uh, from that day on they actually got some funding and then they actually started to make good missiles, right? And another fun fact is that actually Russians had their own version of aim 9 b like they usually do copying just like all things they get b29 got copied they got two four so basically what they did is there was Taiwanese uh, crisis at the time, like 1950s, something like that. So basically uh, China wanted to invade Taiwan. So like uh, Taiwan at the time had F-86 and China had the MiG-17s, although F-86 Sabres were much better than MiG-17s, they had much, much less of them than China MiG-17s. But that wasn't really the only problem uh, of Taiwan. The problem was that F-86 uh, can fly around 1 kilometer below MiG-17s, right? And that was time of when dogfights were a thing, like dogfighting was a thing, like every single fight was a dogfight, there wasn't a thing called missiles, right? So what USA did is uh, prior to attack of China, a couple of months actually, uh, they sneaked in AIM 9Bs, yeah, they sneaked in AIM 9Bs. So that was a uh, time past AIM 9A. So they had some time to develop and they got AIM 9B. So they sneaked in AIM 9Bs uh, secretly, of course, uh, in Taiwan without China knowing. And what happened is they got uh, the upgraded version of F-86 that can carry those missiles. And then on the day of attack, when China launched uh, 108, I think, or something like that, uh, MiG-17s, but Taiwan only had like 48, uh, 48 of Sabres. So what happened is uh, MiG-17s approaching one kilometer above uh, max uh, max altitude of F-86 or Sabres, we'll just call them Sabres of course, and yeah, basically they think they are invincible, right? They, they cannot do anything to them and they are just waiting to attack, but little did they know, AIM-9Bs on the Sabres can go way above them and basically what happened is they just started firing whole lot of missiles sabers like firing all these missiles at them and mix 17s are confused what is happening six of them goes boom and minutes later more and more of them get destroyed and like they are full on panic mode right there and they just start diving down, MiG-17 start diving down from 
uh, fear of getting shot by M9Bs and those without them, uh, those uh, sabers that aren't equipped with M9Bs shoot them down with their cannons. And basically what happened is in that battle uh, one M9B didn't explode. It has fired from one of the sabers and hit MiG-17, but it didn't explode. It just got stuck inside its fuselage. And then that pilot has gone back to China. And basically shortly after Russians got their hands off it, it, uh, it, it has got transported to Moscow. And by reverse engineering, they got it in two years. So in two years, they have reverse en engineered it and they got K-13 missile. Which was very, very similar to AIM-9B and how AIM-9B function, of course. So basically, there you go. You now know why the AIM-9B is actually very very special and it holds a special place inside my heart even though it is trash it is truly trash it is one of i mean the worst missile in the game there is no discussion about that but yeah now now you know why it's actually special and you won't actually have aim 9 else or anything similar to it today so be happy that it happened actually be happy for aim 9 b so, if you enjoyed these fun facts, make sure to hit that sub like, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.